Hi, welcome to Vanity's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making for you today is Sausage Crown. And just in case you're wondering what is Sausage Crown, I found this recipe in an old Newfoundland cookbook and I thought it would be perfect to bring to you. It's only a few simple ingredients in this recipe but it's quite fascinating at the end. So what I'm going to do now is just show you a few of the ingredients. Okay, so we got a pound of sausage and keep them old and we got three apples or four apples we got three medium onions and they're all cut in rings I got it pre-done we got egg, baking, uh, baking powder, salt we got some raisins, butter, milk, flour and so what we'll do we'll get started and as I put it into my bowl I'll tell you how much so what we'll do first, we'll make our batter for um, this uh, cr sausage crown. So it's two and a quarter cups of flour. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to sift all of this together. And we're going to add a half a teaspoonful of salt. And then we're going to have two tablespoonfuls of baking powder. So we'll put that in first. We just sift it all into our bowl. Okay, so that's that. Let's move this to the side. And now we're going to put in a half of a cup of butter cut into cubes. It could be room temperature or a little cooler because what we're going to do now is just fork this all together into this flour until it's all combined. Okay, so while I'm just um, getting all this combined, it's just basically breaking down the butter into your flour and uh, your salt and that. Um, I'm going to talk a bit about sausage. So we're going to pre-brown those in the frying pan with probably a, little, a tablespoon full of butter and um, just a little drizzle of olive oil. And then after, when we get them to about half cooked and just enough to get most of the grease out, we're going to take them out, put them to the side, and then put our onions in until they get tender, and then so forth. And I'll show you what that's all about. So let's continue on with the batter there now. Okay, so what we're going to do next is take one egg, and we're going to put it into a cup of milk. Okay, so a cup of milk, a cup and a quarter, you know, depending on when you start to mix your, the batter. So just to break the yolk, and then we're going to pour this into our batter and start to mix it all together. Okay, so just pour it all in there and start mixing it together. So while we're doing this, again, I'll talk a little bit about our uh, sausage crown. So when we, we mix this, we'll just put this to the side because this is going to be the very last step step of this dish and uh, so when I finish with this I'll take you over to my stove top and we'll get frying our sausages and when you can't move it anymore with your spoon or your fork just take your hand and just work it together to form a little bit of a ball like I said you don't have to be particular with this because this is the very top and I'll show you what to do with it there so what we're going to do now, we're going to add in a tablespoonful of butter and we're going to have about, just eyeball, about a teaspoonful of, of olive oil. And then we'll gradually put each sausage in there. Okay, so let's start layering in our pan. Now this is beef sausage that I got here, but you can have uh, beef and pork, it's up to you. So just going to put them into the pan there. And then I'm going to lightly season them with a bit of salt and pepper. Because this is the only time that I'm going to be putting anything on that. We'll let that fry now until it starts to go golden brown. Okay, these are coming along here nice. So again, only until they're golden brown. And then some of the oil is released from them. And I'll show you what that looks like very soon. 
Okay, I'm going to be taking them out of the pan there now. So they're nice and golden brown. And it's about, say, let's say four minutes on each side. Just enough, like you said, to part cook it. I don't want it cooked all the way through because it's going to cook in the oven when we're doing our sausage crown. So let's, um, let's get started now on the onions. So what I'm going to do now is take this grease off that came from the sausage and I'm just going to wipe the edge of this uh, frying pan, put it back on my damper and I'm going to be adding the onions and it's, they're in rings, fry them until they're tender. I'll show you what that looks like. You don't need to add anything at this point. If you want to, you can drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Um, we do have the drippings in the pan from our sausages, but not the grease. The grease was all poured off. So basically, just, we're just tenderizing these onions right now. But again, if you want to add some more olive oil, you can. I love the smell of onions. Uh, it makes the house smell so nice. Um, so I'll let that one run away. So it's coming along nice here now, so just maybe a couple of more minutes, if it's not very long, let's say five minutes, six minutes, till they start to tenderize on a medium heat. Okay, so this is three medium onions that's done in rings, and what we're going to do now is add four apples that's cut into rings as well, and I'm just going to let them saute a little bit with the onions here now just until they start to well not soften but just till they start to mix in here well what I'm going to do now is just do another drizzle of olive oil I'm going to put in a quarter cup of raisins and you can select the raisins that you would like to use okay so what we're going to do now is mix in three tablespoonful of uh, brown sugar. It gets a little hard when it's at uh, room temperature, but just pinch it and equally put it over. So I'm gonna get this put in there now till it starts to just all mix in and incorporate to our onions and our apples. Okay, so this is all we need. So the brown sugar now is all condensed into our mixture. We're going to take this now back to our counter and we will start assembling it to show you what it looks like to add a sausage crown. Okay, now we're going to put everything together. So what I got here is, um, they call it a tube pan, but this is a silicone uh, pan. I always called it a bunt pan. They needed to have the hole in the middle, so we're going to create a crown. So what we will do first is lightly grease the pan. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly grease it. You can spray it with some Pam or huge butter or olive oil, whichever is best for you. Okay, so now we're going to be adding in all of this mixture, which is raisins, onions, and apples. So I'm going to equally move it around here. I just don't want the pan in your way. So I'll just put that down. Just mix it around till it's all evenly spread around the pan like this. Okay next comes the sausage portion. You take one sausage each and you put down into your mixture. So you go right around and tuck them in so they're all evenly there. They will stay, I mean they might fall there now until I get the batter there. Um, and you just keep going around like that until you make sort of a crown. Okay, it's going to look something like that. So I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to bring over our dough. And what I'm going to do is just roll this out a little bit because I want to be able to fit that down over um, and kind of have the sausages off to the side of it and I'm going to make a hole in the middle for the bunt part of it. So this is when it gets interesting. So it doesn't matter if um, you know you knock down the sausages, you'll fix them again after. So you're just going to put this down over that hole, keeping the sausages upright and moving it, all of the batter 
in around the sausages like this. So pretty much it's going to look something like this. So just your sausages off to the side, your batter on top and then all your mixture in the bottom. So we're going to be baking this today in a preheated 350 degree oven for one hour and until you see the batter as a nice golden brown because everything else is cooked or the sausages is almost cooked. So I'm always open to new recipes, especially when they're new for nine recipes. So we're going to give this one a try. I'm going to put mine in the oven there now and meet me back here when it's done. Welcome back to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. Um, our sausage crown is now baked. I'm going to attempt to cut a piece out to show you what it looks like on the inside. And before we get started on that, I want to recap on some of the ingredients we got in this dish. Um, we had three medium onions cut into rings, four apples, and you can have any sort of apples, whatever you like, cut into rings. I had a quarter cup of raisins, and I added that in, um, in the kind of in the end portion, right after I put in the brown sugar. So let's cut out a piece of this sausage crown. Okay, I'm gonna cut a piece here. I wanna pop it out of this bunt thing, but where it's not cool or a little set, I don't want for it to all fall apart. So let's just take a piece out. This smells absolutely delicious too. Like I said, I'm attempting to take take this out before it's fully set um, but I'm going to show you just look isn't that ever delicious so don't this look absolutely delicious and, and there's lots of juice down at the bottom of your pan so you know just put equal amounts over your dish so this is what it's going to look like and I'm going to be serving mine with some broccoli and some steamed carrot. And that'll color up this plate a, a little bit as well. And you can serve it with whatever you like. And you can do a sauce, but this is what it looked like. It smells absolutely amazing in here. It's all coming towards me. Um, and this is what we're looking at, our sausage crown. I had uh, taken this from an old Newfoundland recipe that they did years ago. So I hope that you find this one interesting. So after I let it just cool down a little or set, I was able to uh, pop it out of my uh, bunt pan so you can do the same but again just take it um, be very careful with it I hope you found this recipe helpful and interesting today if you got any more interesting uh, recipes that either your mom or your dad your grandparents made in Newfoundland years ago or even now send them to me and let me try them so please subscribe to uh, our YouTube channel. Um, don't forget to touch the top link of the subscription and it'll show you what to do. And visit us on www.bunnyliskitchen.com and every time we uh, do a new recipe, we will post it there for you to see. So thank you for joining us once again for Bunnyliskitchen. From my kitchen to yours, you have a wonderful day.